Hello everyone, this is Chris from CPAs News, as you can know and hear. And as you can see by the title above and some of the pictures that are being played right now, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the Prestige Edition, or the Care Package Edition. Now for the Prestige Edition, which is what I'm going to call it, you get the Nuketown 2025 and Nuketown Zombie map, the exclusive Xbox Live props, the claw avatar prop, and the zombie avatar prop, the collectible steel book as the actual case for the game, limited edition challenge coins, um, and the MQ-27 Dragonfire drone with remote control, and it actually requires six AA batteries and flies. Now, other than the official soundtrack, and the in-game items, like the avatar items and the maps, every, everything else is found inside the box. So let's get right to the unboxing. Okay, so here we are at the unboxing. As you can see, I zoomed in pretty, well not zoomed in, but I sped up the video really fast. Or not really fast, but it's going fast. So you can see I'm trying to get the, the outer slide thing off the box. And I'm trying to get it off gently because I don't want to damage anything. And, um, once I got it off, I ended up turning it around and just going like, oh, yay, I got it open, hooray, so the care package, like that. And then um, you open the two latches on the side and lift it up, and then you have the inside. And you have the remote control in that box, and then every, that's housing, basically. That's the AR drone, or the QR, whatever, and that's the game and the coin. Now I'll go into detail and actually open up the items. After I lock the crate. <laughs> now, I threw, now I just move the crate out of the way. And now the, um, the, the remote control. I didn't really spend that much time on it because once I figured out it was a remote control, I'm like, yeah, I'll wait until later or sometime to actually do a video and a review on the actual drone itself. Then I open this up. And obviously, as you can see on the top of it, it's got a blueprint sort of like thing of the drone itself so I tried opening it up and slightly um, uh, sliding it out and um, it was pretty successful because I didn't damage it and I didn't feel like damaging it I have it in its box right now in the care package it's still there it's not doing anything but you know it's there and um, then I take that box out and it takes me a minute or two but I'm trying to open the box up and everything and um, I didn't want to rip the box, but I ended up, uh, at one point, I ended up ripping it open because I couldn't see any other way to open it without damaging the actual packaging. But it, the packaging is useless because it's not going to change the value because it's just in a rubber, it's in a rubber, um, like, housing. The coins themselves are in uh, rubber housing. So, I believe I just got it open around now, I think. Let's see. There, see, I got it out, and you got the coins. You can actually take them out, and I have um, one of the coins right now, and as you can see, I'm opening the box, and um, I'm trying to rip open the GameStop or, or GameSpot or whatever it's called, because I get the two mixed up. The um, and then you got the disc on one side, and then you have the uh, codes and everything on the other. And now I'm just going to show you, uh, well, the pictures are just going to show me putting it away. So, um, not much is, you could say that there could be a lot in the box, and then you could say that there's not much. But in general, all the stuff is useful, sort of. Like the helicopter is not useful, and the coins aren't useful, but the case protects the game. And you have all the items for the for your avatar and everything, but all in all, I honestly like this um, care package because it has things that are entertaining and nice to use. The past few uh, Call of Duties didn't really have that much to offer. The RCXD was it was interesting, but it wasn't that great. Um, so yeah, other than that, I don't have any other things to say. But if I were to rate this. Um, this game, this um, the the Prestige Edition itself, not the game, because I haven't played it yet. I've been working on this. Um, if I were to rate the the actual Prestige box and everything and all the contents, I'd give it a 
eight out of uh, eight out of ten because they, there's a lot of other things they could have put in there. They could have re-released the RCXB with it because they're they're making more money than um than the actual thing is worth. So I can agree with others that they're making the the, the cost of the Prestige Edition is too high. But I wanted to get it for an update and everything in the um the, the unboxing. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this video was informative to you, and I will talk to you guys later.